Hi and hello guys. Uh, so probably you would have heard about the news of uh, Blink stopping the legacy services. So today in this video, let me quickly show you as to how you can set up a local Blink server on your Raspberry Pi and keep using the old Blink app. So let's quickly get started. Okay, so I have forked uh, Peter's version of the Blink local server and I have made changes to the binaries over here. So head over to the Blink server that is my fork of the Blink server and click on the releases tab. So this would be the final release and there would be no other further releases. Okay, so I have put up a script to make things easy for you. Scroll your mouse over the pi local server hyphen setup dot sh script. Do not click on that. Right click and choose copy link address. Now head back to your Pi, open up a terminal and type w get and space paste the link that you just copied. Okay, so the script has been downloaded. The next step is to make the script executable. The command to do that is sudo chmod space plus x space dot forward slash and then copy the name of the script and paste it okay so the script has been made executable so next we'll run the script remove the chmod plus x part and then press enter so midway through the process uh, you'll be prompted for certain inputs to generate the self-signed certificates just follow the on-screen instructions and provide the inputs Okay, so after you provide the inputs for the certificates, you'll be prompted as to whether you want the server to auto start on boot. See, if you want the Blink local server to auto start on boot, key in yes and then press enter. See, if you don't want to auto start the server or if you can manually start the server each and every time, key in N and then press enter. Okay. Okay, so just in case if you have set the server to auto start on boot you need to check the uh, rc.local file to do that type sudo nano space forward slash etc forward slash rc.local okay so now uh, you might have an error over here in some cases you will have this hash symbol missing or you will have a hash with a space okay you need to remove the space and uh, have the exclamation mark next to the hash symbol okay so once that is done press ctrl x and then y to save and exit okay so that part is done so next uh, what you need to do is you need to modify the mail dot properties file to receive the uh, authentication tokens so set your gmail username over here and then enter the password over here say in case if you have used a two-step uh, authentication for your gmail you need to create an app specific password and then enter it over here so if you have not got the two-step authentication enabled head over to the settings in your google account and then enable access for less secure apps okay so this is a very critical step if you miss this you will not uh, receive authentication tokens from your local server okay so now that i have verified the credentials of the mail.properties file you can start the server either manually or automatically okay so i have given the command that you can use to manually start the blink server okay otherwise if you have enabled the auto start do sudo system ctl 
ctl start rc hyphen local okay okay so now the, your uh, server should be up and running if you have set the server to start from the rc.local file so in order to check the validity of your server or in order to check if your server is actually functioning or not open up the pi browser and type https colon forward slashes and then local host follow colon and then 9443 and then forward slash admin okay and then press enter it will say that your connection is not private click on advanced and then choose proceed to localhost okay so by default the username is admin at blink.cc and the password is admin okay so now you will be taken to the dashboard and if you click on users you can see that there is only the blink uh, admin uh, user list created okay so now let me quickly show you as to how you can create new registrations for the local server see if you have got the blink app already installed or the legacy blink app already installed if you open it you won't have any you won't have any uh, prompts for signing up as a new user okay so this is because the blink has been revamped or updated uh, to reflect the changes with the blink ecosystem to circumvent this just press and hold the blink app and uninstall the existing blink legacy app in the description of this video you can find the link for the older version of the blink legacy app or the blink app that is the just the older blink app download that and install on your phone or device okay so now what will happen is see if you have set the apps to auto update this blink app the older version of the blink app will be automatically updated to the newer version to stop that open play store click on your photo and then settings click on network preferences and then choose auto update apps and then select the option that says don't auto update apps and then press done okay so now your blink app will be the same as you just installed now you can see that you have an option to create a new account click on create new account right down at the bottom you should see three dots click on that switch the server to custom and uh, type in the IP address of your Raspberry Pi choose ok and now create a new account And now choose sign up if you have a prompt just proceed with the on-screen instructions okay so now uh, we'll quickly head back to the blink uh, admin console and then check for the new user registration okay so now as you can see I have got the uh, new user uh, added to the list of the users. So let's quickly uh, test the uh, authentication key functionality. Choose OK. OK so as you can see now I have received the authentication token for the uh, ESP home project that I just created okay okay so now that the older blink uh, server has been shut down this is how you can create your own uh, blink local server and make use of its maximum potential 
So I really hope that you find this video useful and informative. Thanks for watching. Take care and bye bye.